Welcome everybody to another unboxing. Um, this time, uh, something a little bit different. I know you guys have probably been used to me unboxing only Nike products, uh, but this time I'm going to unbox um, something new. So let's unbox it. Um, I ordered this recently and it got to me. And it got to me today actually, so I wanted to quickly do this unboxing slash review and share my thoughts a little bit on this product, on this brand, I guess you could say, because um, I've had a lot of uh, mixed feelings the last um, couple weeks over Nike products, you know, and, and not just Nike, but, you know, um, all the big uh, major um, brands that have uh, soccer shoes and stuff like that. Um, I've just been thinking a lot about it and my thoughts are in the, in the regards of, you know, I feel like their prices are way, way too high. Um, more so now than ever. And I don't, I don't know if that's completely true, but to me it just seems like it is. Put that down. Um, so, it's tough on the box, it's a Mexican brand of soccer shoes um, called Concord. Now, most of you are probably not familiar with it, um, and that's okay. So that's why I'm here to kind of give you guys a little bit of knowledge on this. So let's open it up. shoes that I want to show you guys today. We're going to put them right there, come to the bag, and the first test we have to do, what well, I like to do, is smell. And they smell like a leather, a very durable, strong leather, um, very thick I would say. So these shoes the reason why I got them is because of their price and durability. Now, um, these are about $80 and you can find them for probably even cheaper than that if you look around, if you know where to look. They come from Mexico. The brand is Concord, as you can see. Um, and if you notice the look, Let's, hold on, let me, let me cut that. So if you notice the look, it's going to remind you a lot about, of uh, like a, a tempo or like the old predators that, you know, had the, the tongue over and, and like I said, like I was saying before, um, I'm into right now a lot of the retro stuff, a lot of the retro looking boots. Um, so I, I want, and I wore this pair back when I was a senior in high school. Um, I, I bought me a pair of Concords. And those things lasted me forever. They never did mess up on me. They never did tear. I was just stupid. And I think I ended up giving them away to somebody or letting somebody use them. I don't know why. I regret it right now. Um... I regret it because it was such a durable shoe. It was leather. Back then, there weren't as many as light shoes as they were, as there are now. So um, it, it was just a, a really great shoe. The build quality was good. It was leather. I believe in these, there's kangaroo leather in the front or some type of leather and then probably in the back as all shoes now you know um if you compare them to like the the premiere or, or something like that it's going to be probably the same concept whereas they have leather in the front but this is very a thick very padded um good leather um so back to my story like i was saying so i regret being dumb and giving those away um because i miss them i i guarantee right now they would still um, be in good condition. The only problem was, of course, if you click them, keeping them, keeping them clean. But you wipe them up, 
and they were and they were so good um but so these along with the premiere are probably going to be my um boots of choice my side shoes of choice for the upcoming season um and but the importance of this shoe is not really the shoe itself or anything like that my point is that you don't have to have the best um the more expensive gear or anything like that like your game is going to be the same um so if you can't afford it or you just don't want to i mean some people don't want to i've gotten to the point where i see mizuno that released you know some 300 dollars shoes and and of course you look at them and you're like wow i want those shoes and some of you might pay that some of you might regret it regrettingly is that a word regrettingly pay that um or for instance like the shoes that i get like i said i'm so fortunate that i'm able to get a discount on my cleats if i didn't there's no way i would be buying all these cleats and and um that stuff that's just me being honest and going forward i think i told myself that um i am going to um pull back on the shoes that I buy. I'm trying to make a promise. One, because they are expensive, and two, because like I have a lot of shoes that I haven't even touched that you know I need to wear them. And I kind of stopped playing as much, so that doesn't help. If when I was playing, you know, two or three times a week, you know, I was able to um wear at least two or three pairs, you know, a week. And right now like I don't really have that um chance. Cause I'm only paying once I might try to play twice uh, but what I'm getting at in in this you know thing is that I'm I know I'm not gonna be a different player whether I'm wearing these or I'm wearing some temples or I'm wearing a mercurial or I'm wearing you know whatever other shoe that I got um, so I want to I want you guys to understand that as well like you don't have to have the more expensive things you don't have to have all that stuff it's nice it's nice to get in unbox and and see all the the new you know upgrades that they might make to a shoe uh, but there's nothing wrong with something old school like this that i mean i i, I love this look it's very you know tempo-esque and and some of my best soccer shoes have been mexican brand shoes if you guys are familiar with the uh, brand uh Pirma, um, those now sell in the U.S. and they're even featured in FIFA games. And I think these were at one um, time or another, I believe, when Cuatro Blanco was still in in the in playing. So like he wore these shoes mostly, most notably. There's been other players from South America. If you are familiar with uh, El Loco Abreu, uh, he wore these. Uh, Charito Delgado from Argentina, just several players that you know you 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 don't you wouldn't expect them to be wearing something like this. I mean, as for me, you know these these are foreign players that are coming to play in Mexico. So if they wore this, you know it, it says a lot. Uh, for the price, you might think they're not going to be you know uh, um, top top level boot, but they are. They're durable, as you can see. Um, and the bottom the bottom works for me the most. It's because like I've said in previous videos, I don't play in in the best type of fields. So uh, I think this sole is the best for me for the simple fact that, you know, it's more of a plastic stud and it's a little bit rounded, but it's also not too rounded. So I think these are going to work out great. Um, and I know I said in a video previously that, I you know, I'm going to wear different boots because I don't. It's not because I don't want to get them dirty or anything like that. It's just the durability of those boots. I I don't know. So why why you know if I was playing on nice fields, it'd be great to have um be able to wear those. But if I don't if I'm not playing on a nice field, like what's the point of shoes is going to get messed up faster because of the durability? Now thankfully I've never had to test a shoe, and or or what I mean by that is just like I've never had something fail on me rip. Or anything like that knock on wood um but also if i if it did happen like i have cleats that's you know that's not a problem but i've also put a lot of money into those cleats even at a discounted price um so just going forward you know i'm 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 probably when i do reviews i'm gonna be honest with you guys 
Um, if I do a review on a shoe, because I know the, the Legend 8, I don't know what they're going to call it. That's going to be releasing soon. There's going to be a new uh, Vapor that's going to be releasing. And I'm going to get my hands on those. But if I'm going to keep them, it's going to be have to be some extraordinary boot that's going to make me keep it. But like I said, I want to be honest with you guys. I don't like to... Uh, I guess deceive you guys I, that's not the word to use probably but I don't want to buy a product you know say that it's a great this and that to only return it um, and and not let you guys know so going forward I will probably be ordering products to review but not keeping them if that makes sense to you guys because you know as, as a as small audience that I have I feel like you know you guys are family, tight-knit group, almost to say, you know, when you have a tight-knit group of small group of friends is better than big group of friends. So it's just important for me to um, let you guys know everything. And, you know, I just feel like if I buy a product and then, I, you know, I make it seem like I keep it. But, and if I'm not really going to, then, you know, I, I, I'd rather be honest with you guys. So just keep that in mind. Um... If I'm going to keep it, I guess I will let you guys know. But for the most part, you know, my thing is just I'm going to probably order the product and just return it. Um, because for the simple fact of, you know, the prices and I don't really agree with them. That that's that's a true statement. I feel like for what we get um, and it seems like we're getting less and less materials and less and less leather, premium leather. And they're charging more. The, the prices are, are, are going up. So. Um, I don't think it's going to change, obviously, you know, we keep, we keep buying their, their boots, the new shoes, the new releases that come out, you know, like Nike is putting out shoes every two or three months, different colors. They just change up the color. That's outrageous. And I was keeping up with that or trying to, but then it's like, for what, you know, for, for just to have a different color, like it kind of doesn't make sense to me. And there are some people that can do that or some people that want to do that. And like I said, that's, that's perfectly normal. That's perfectly fine if you can if that's something that you're you're interested in doing but for me for the most part i'm going to try the you know a good shoe obviously this is still a very good shoe a well-built shoe um i'll show it off to you guys a little bit so this is concord right there just the logo in there the top i really just love this i really love this and it's, it's gonna probably be a little bit heavier than what i'm used to but I mean, this is this is durable. This is very well built. So maybe I'll do a play test on this, or put it against um, one of my other shoes that I have, just to see just to see if I can feel a difference or not. But I think it's gonna be a pretty good shoe, and I'm excited. You know, I think my season starts tomorrow, so hopefully, if it doesn't rain out, knock on wood. Um, so I'll be wearing these if I can walk around in them, and they feel good right now. Um, but that's my video. Uh, I hope you guys kind of understood where I was going with this. Um, and hopefully the title, you don't feel like it's clickbait because, well, you know, we all hate when people get us like that. But thank you for watching. Um, uh, give a comment if you know this brand, if you've seen this brand before. I know it's been featured on other popular um, YouTube videos um, or boot, football boot videos. Um, if you don't know it, and you'd like to know more about it, let me know. Uh, if you want me to do a play test or anything like that, then please let me know. Leave a comment, shoot me an email, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.